Hello, my name is Alyssa Waters, and I'm the Florence B. Selden Fellow in the Department of Prints and Drawings at the Yale University Art Gallery. This woodcut, titled St. John Devouring the Book, pictures an angel clothed in a cloud with a rainbow around his head and a face shining like the sun, straddling the land and sea with feet or legs that resemble pillars of fire. Holding out an open book, the angel commands the figure sitting on the ground, St. John, Take the book and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but in thy mouth it shall be sweet as honey. St. John turns away from the manuscript he is writing, grasps the book that the angel offers with both hands, and eats it, physically consuming the words of God. The sea creature, then thought to be a live animal, ships, swans, trees, and other forms surrounding the biblical scene draw from the 15th century European landscape. In 1498, Albrecht Dürer published this and 14 other large woodcuts illustrating the story of the apocalypse, each with corresponding religious text printed on the verso in a bound volume. The story resonated with contemporary viewers who were living through a time rife with peasant rebellions, religious strife, a plague, and predictions of the imminent end of the world. Dürer's prints became extremely popular. In 1511, the artist released another edition of the series, as well as individual impressions of each of the woodcuts, exploiting the power of the print produced in multiples to disseminate knowledge and ideas amongst individuals of a range of socioeconomic classes and geographic regions. The Apocalypse series showcases Durer's masterful skills and role in the elevation of printmaking to a fine art. Through an astonishingly broad range of marks of varying thicknesses, lengths, proximities, and curvatures, Durer's 15 woodcuts convey both two-dimensional form and three-dimensional substance, as well as a range of tonal values. For example, here in the art gallery's impression of the St. John image, single dark marks indicate creases in the saint's robe. Curved parallel lines help delineate its many folds and tight cross-hatching produces areas of shadow. The torso of the central angelic figure also demonstrates Durer's extraordinarily versatile mark-making. The juxtaposition of curved lines that represent substantial, billowing clouds with straight parallel horizontal lines that seem immaterial make the angel appear, fittingly, both real and imagined. To this day, Durer's images inspire awe and broad appeal. Personally, I have always loved this particular woodcut, St. John Devouring the Book, but it has taken on new meaning for me in light of both the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic and the current social justice movement, as I, like many, exhaust the news, seeking definitive information about what has already occurred, what is currently happening, and what the future might hold. In this print, St. John has paused his writing to literally, physically consume knowledge from another source. When he returns to his own book, how much will his writing incorporate the new information he has just received? Reflecting our enduring quests for knowledge and understanding, this print raises questions about what stories we choose to consume and pass along to others, and how we create the narratives that shape our pasts, presents, and futures. <laughs>